In this video we're going to look at the surface split command. This allows us to split a panel into several panels. We've got a simple cabinet here with a door applied and that's been selected so we can now see over here the structure menu we click on edit and then we can select surface split. First of all you can add and remove panels let's put two more in and then down here in divisions we can apply extra parameters. Let's go and add 20 mil of slack. The mode reference and position you can see them here but they're not active. We'll show you how to use them later on when we position individual panels. So we've also got orientation. Let's change that to 20 degrees. So that's rotated the division between each panel we've created. We have two edging options. This relates to the edging top and bottom of each division. And we've also got a fitting link. Let's take the slack back out again and apply a fitting link. Click on the button with three dots and then the plus button. So we need to determine a fitting and a rule. I'm going to go into quick design and select a dowel and a rule for that as well. Click OK. So now we've got our one fitting link in place. Let's see how that looks. Click OK and view this 3D as a wireframe. So we can see our panel split into four and also the dowels in place. I'm going to press on the space bar to go back into the right part of the properties menu so we can go back into surface split and edit it. The final element here is curves. We can choose from the open curves library a variety of different designs. Let's go for smooth wave. So that particular design is now applied to each panel. You can invert it and turn it around. For now let's just click OK and go and change the material. I'm going to view this as, as a textured 3D view. Click on the space bar so we can get back to editing this surface split and actually what we're going to do here is go into the individual panels and change the materials for this one panel 2. That's highlighted here in orange and here it is applied. Let's also change panel 4 so we can see the contrast between each of our panels more easily. So there we have it. That's the basics of the surface split command which is really quite a powerful feature and allows you a lot of design flexibility. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.